What would you do if you saw one of your friends struggling? Someone you shared so many good memories with. Then they just start to drift away from you. How would that make you feel? Not good, would it? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. How a man dealt with seeing his band and his friends starting to slowly drift away from him. By 1995, the Seattle grunge scene was starting to fade away. With Kurt Cobain's death, Nirvana was over. The members of Pearl Jam were really starting to get sick of all their fame, and Alice in Chains hadn't gone on tour in over a year. The only thing that was really new at the time was Mad Season, a Seattle supergroup con consisting of Mike McCready from Pearl Jam, Barrett Martin from Screaming Trees, bassist John Baker Sounders, and of course, Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. This supergroup would go on to make only one official release titled Above. The group would play a couple shows around Seattle, most notably the Moore Theater. Lane Staley had developed a drug addiction since the start of Alice in Chains, but around this time it was getting really bad. This is mainly why the band hadn't toured in a long time. A year earlier, 1994, Alice had put out their infamous Jar of Flies EP, but after that, nothing else until 1995. This year the band would get back together to record their third studio album. This time around, Lane Staley would take over writing duties, just like their guitarist Jerry Cantrell. And you can definitely tell on this album the songs are written about, written by Lane. Most of the songs on this album were written about drug use and the consequences of it. This set a very dark tone for the album. Of course, Lane's pr drug problem would make it a very hard process to record the album. Either way, the band made the album and released it on November 7th, 1995. The album saw success with singles like Grind, Heaven Beside You, and Again. But there's one song in this album that really shows the emotion of what the band was going through. The last song in the album titled Over Now. This song was written by Jerry Cantrell and his overwhelming sadness he felt saying goodbye to his band. Lane was falling down bad into addiction. Sean Kenny and Mike Inez were wanting to do other things, and it seemed the band was only going downhill. So like he always did, Jerry wrote a song about it. Over Now's lyrics are no doubt about letting go and freeing yourself. Jerry almost needs confirmation that it's over, so that he can be can believe it. He then says that eventually we will come in peace and our differences will pass. We pay our debts then the song explodes into this beautiful acoustic melody, tracked with emotional leads by Jerry. This part of the song really makes you think, and it really makes you feel like it's over. This isn't just Jerry's goodbye to his band. It's a goodbye to everything that has happened for the past eight years of his life. He is saying goodbye to himself. There's a lot of humanity in this song as it can fit for everyone. We can say goodbye to friends, a job, a pet, a place, anything. We can all fit in this role. That is what makes this song so beautiful. <laughs> 